Hey guys, what's up? It's Data Strain again, and this is going to be another installment in my Machine That Made Easy series. This time we're going to be talking about patterns um, and using the pattern mode for the groups. Uh, I've already gone over scenes and arrangement, but the arrangement video I was pretty hasty on, and the scenes video as well. So I'm going to be doing other installments with that, but I really feel like um, patterns are going to be the basis of everything that you need to know and then from there we can kind of build back up. I was a little overzealous with my videos and didn't really do them in a good order but now we're gonna get a solid order with things. Um, so we're gonna start with patterns. I have a, a group here. This is the AT Volca kit from the Astral Flutter, um, Astral Flutter expansion. Um, so we're gonna be using that for this video. And now I'm going to show you how to create your own patterns with this, right? Um, first, I got to get rid of some choke and link groups that I've made. All right, we're all cleaned up now. Uh, so basically, we're going to be making a quick pattern with this. First thing you want to do is find a tempo that you like to work at. I usually make my beats between like 96 and 84, occasionally down to like 77 or something like that. And I'm working for like a more uh, lo-fi, like halftime beat. Um, but I think that for the purposes of this video, I think we're going to do 88. That sounds like a good number for me right now. So to start making a pattern, get a general idea of the vibe that you want to make, right? So... This is kind of a lo-fi kit, so I'm thinking about making something a little bit more on the lo-fi side of things. So we're going to make a pattern. And as you can see, I have no patterns going on here. So the best way to actually make your first pattern with the uh, with the sounds you have here is to hit the recording button, go to pattern, and it'll bring this up here. And the reason you want to hit this recording button is so you can actually set your recording length. So we're going to do a four bar beat. If you don't hit record before setting the pattern length, when you actually go to record, it'll just start with a one bar loop. So make sure you hit record and then set your pattern length in order to actually lock it in for what you want to use. So we're going to go back to pads and then if you're going to hit, you can hit the shift and record to get a count in so you can get yourself ready to actually record something. this by 50% because I'm a little sloppy. I'm just going to turn the main volume down a little bit because it's kind of loud. Um, so the next thing we want to do for there is we can actually check our pattern. So now you can actually see the MIDI notes that we've laid down. We've laid a very basic groove down for this, right? So this could be like our intro pattern or like our very you know beginning pattern. Now let's say we actually want to build up on this pattern a little bit, right? Let's say we actually want to kind of, you know, make something a little bit more, add a little extra to this pattern. So what we can do is we can hit duplicate, select our current pattern, and then drop it into the next here. So now we've got the pattern again, and here we can actually add in some more notes. So now we've got like a more built up pattern. So if we go back here, we can actually switch between the two of them. So 
So this building up of patterns is going to end up becoming kind of important, especially if you're the type of person who makes all their beats in one group. You know, you get all your sounds and samples in one group and then build your beat. Um, usually I have different instruments in each group and I kind of just like group all the different types of things together in one. Um, but this is still beneficial for that just to make sure you have enough variation for when you finally go to make an arrangement, right? Um, so we're going to duplicate this pattern again. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to take out of this pattern that we've got right here we can actually get rid of some of these sounds. So what I want to do is I want to drop this snare. I'm going to drop that from here. So an easy way to do this is actually to hit the snare sample and then hit keyboard. Because what this is going to do is it's actually going to open up just the MIDI track of the snare itself. And then from here, when we go back to keyboard, we can hit shift and clear. Now, when we go back to our pattern, that part is empty. But if we go back to pad mode and look at the pattern, everything else is still there except for that snare. So that's a good way to kind of add variation inside of your own, inside of the patterns of the individual groups. Um, so we're going to go ahead and duplicate this again. And now we're going to add one of these melodic samples, right? So we can hit this here, uh, go to keyboard. I should just kind of like that. So now we're going to record this in. So you can kind of see how this is all like coming together now, you know what I mean? You have the different parts and pieces, the build up. See, now in this pattern, we're still missing that snare that we had from here, so we can actually duplicate this pattern again down here, and we can go ahead and add that snare back in. Now let's say we want a break with just the melodic parts, right? So what we can do is we can just go back into here and we can just start getting rid of some of these, right? So we'll get rid of that kick, get rid of that snare. And we'll get rid of this snare as well. See now, and this is going to apply to any group that you're working in with any type of uh, sound that you're working with. This is basically a good way to flesh out a bunch of different ideas before you even hit the arrangement mode. And then you can use the tips that I gave you in the scenes and arrangement videos to actually make very complex tracks and really, you know, express yourself a lot. The only tough thing though is that per scene, you can only have one selected pattern. So you will have to make um, pretty much for most of these variations, you will have to make some kind of scene for it for the different parts and pieces. Um, so that is kind of a drawback. It would be really nice to be able to chain multiple scenes inside of, you know, inside of here, like being able to hold scene one through four and then have them link 
um, or pattern one through four and have them link, but it doesn't work that way. So there, it does take a little extra work to get a good final product down. But once you get the motions done and the muscle memory, it's very, very fast and fluid. Um, so that's basically how pattern mode works with you know with this. You know you have ways of duplicating and doubling patterns. Um, so let's say this one's not quite long enough. You can actually double that pattern up, and now it will double up here. But your other patterns are still in the same length. Um, so yeah, there's so much that can be done with this, but this is just the basics. Play around with it. See how much variation you can make with just 16 sounds. Uh, I guarantee you're gonna have a fun time, and I guarantee you're gonna find cool ways of working with this and, and new ways of building beats that you've never really experimented with before. Um, so that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a, a thumbs up, like the video, share it, subscribe, do the whole thing. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Let me know why. You know, I, I really want to improve and make better content for you guys. Um, if you really enjoyed my content and you want to help support me, there's a link to my Patreon down below. Um, also follow me on Instagram. That's where I put most of my beat ideas and, and things I don't really post music all that often, but when I do it's usually to Instagram first So go ahead and follow me there um, If you have any uh, suggestions or questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section and, uh, below and I will work on future videos to make them uh, to help answer those questions and Get you guys going where you need to go um, So yeah, this has been data strain. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video Peace.